Well, it's our last day moving the last load into my trailer and getting everything ready so that I can hook up in the morning and head south. This is not really how I envisioned my winter panning out. Wake up bright and early, throw the last of my stuff in the truck, make sure the house is all cleaned up, hook up the trailer, load up the animals, and then we're going to drive about 10, 11 hours tomorrow down to Utah. We'll spend the night at some fairgrounds and then be on our way again in the morning. And in two days time, life's going to be different. It's going to be really different. And I think I need that. I think a big part of me also missed I think a big part of me also missed being in a small space. I didn't, I didn't need a house that big. I just walked back here and Lucy was already in the trailer. She'd be crazy. I just dropped stuff at my storage unit. Not Montana being toxic as fuck. I didn't just pop a tire. Um, not Montana having like literally perfect weather now that I'm leaving. Let's go sit Doing it. We're leaving. And I'm still a wreck. We're in Idaho now. Oh, I can't quite get in. We're in Idaho and we have a little over six hours left out of our nine hour drive. And it's 11 a.m. The roads haven't been too bad. Um, there are a couple dicey parts just getting out of Montana, but for the most part, it's been okay. I have a feeling this is gonna become our worst part that we have to go through today. So hopefully it's smooth sailing for the rest of the drive still. We're at our rest stop somewhere in Idaho. I think we have a little under 300 miles left. Fluff. Kitty is in my passenger seat. Johnny's in the back. All the horses are okay. I'm gonna unload them and refill hay bags and try to find some water for them. Super drained. Slept like three hours last night. I think we're at the poorhouse. Okay, I think I found the pens that I can use. I'm hoping that I'm in the right place. <laughs> Good girl. So 
overall the drive was smooth um it went by kind of fast but also like painfully long um so i was just like thinking non-stop so like torture almost um but anyway we're in utah thankfully i have my stanley cup for this special occasion um, I feel a little bit better because I got here and I put the animals up and this girl came up and she was like, I follow you on TikTok. And I was like, Hey, and she's like, yeah, I saw the bison. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, there's not many people who show up at the fairgrounds with a bison, I bet. Um, but I don't know why it just kind of stopped me out of my head for a little bit and was like, I was like, why am I crying? Like, I do, I forget sometimes the amount of people that I reach and who are rooting for me. Um, and it just makes me feel a little bit better right now. After I've been really hard on myself and I've been driving for nine hours trying to convince myself I'm worthy of love. <laughs> We're doing great, Johnny. I haven't dewinterized my trailer yet, so we're living out of this little water thing for now. And tomorrow, when we get to where we're going, I need to like flush everything and I need to buy a new water filter too. And then we'll be back in action. Hopefully, nothing's broken after the trailer's been sitting for a couple months in the winter. I've been looking forward forward I've been looking forward to this salad all day it's freezing in here my propane took a second to get through the lines again because I haven't run it in a minute I need croutons that's what I forgot Good morning, guys. Good morning, good morning. Lucy girl. Go. There you go. It's for you. There you go. It's for you. It's your breakfast. I am feeling a lot better today. I just feel lighter. I spent legitimately the whole nine hour drive yesterday crying, um, which is exhausting. And I might have cried most of it out. Okay, now I just got to pay and leave. And we're off again. 520 miles, about eight hours. I slept in this hoodie. Couldn't shower anyway, so I feel disgusting. Um, we're still somewhere in Utah. Um, and I got Starbucks because my friend sent me a gift card, which was very nice. And a little breakfast sandwich. We're gonna eat a little snack and hit the road skis again. Yeah, so I got a flat tire. I was literally on the phone with my mom talking about how smooth the ride is going. And I look in my mirror and my tire goes My spare on now. So uh, now we're gonna go find a tire shop because I cannot be seen without a spare. Because otherwise 
otherwise I would be screwed. So, let's go find a new tire. And then we'll be on our way again. I knew this drive was going a little too well. I was suspicious. We'll figure it out. Everybody's good. I just wanted to check on them before I went to bed. Ray Ray, what's she doing, sweet lady? Um, yeah, they had a long two days. We drove just under 600 miles both days. Um, today was obviously longer than yesterday because we got a flat. And now. I'm gonna go take a shower. Everything is chaos. <laughs> oh, but I love Johnny. I know, but I love love. Yeah, my sweet babies. You know, I can't complain because I made it here um, alive. And I'm safe. My babies are safe. My babies are healthy. Um, things are okay. Super tired. I feel grimy as hell. Lovey, lovey. <sighs> but we're going to take care of that. <laughs> we're going to take care of that real soon. And tomorrow, um, I just need to like unpack. Put away a lot of the stuff that's on the floor in here. I didn't have a chance to do. And then... Run some errands. I need to get propane and stuff. And then go to the grocery store probably. Getting ready for breakfast. Oh, she's so cute. Lucy has to eat her breakfast away from everybody else because they're mean and they bully her. And there's a random rooster head. <laughs> He's excited. Yo, yeah, we got it with the aesthetic. I love this uh, Instagram inception. <laughs> Just out running a couple errands now. Um, I just bought hay. I got 10 bales of second cutting alfalfa for $225. The best thing about grocery stores in Arizona is they sell like, not tractor supply. I have to get like a power adapter. So I've never plugged into a 50 amp outlet. A small fortune. I don't really know how to end this vlog. Um, today is the end of the first day that I've been in Arizona. Hey Fluffy Duffy. And I'm staying right now for the first week at least. Um, around Phoenix, on the outskirts of Phoenix. Um, it's like a roping and boarding facility. I'm just renting a spot and a paddock here for the animals. My friend Katie also lives here, so we're trailer neighbors, which is fun. But I might be moving to a different property in, um, like, right outside Wickenburg um, when the tenant from there moves out. So, we're here for now, and everybody's doing good. I'm happy that all the animals are healthy, and I'm super tired, and I still haven't put away any of the stuff that's <laughs> thrown in my trailer. It's a mess in here. Anyway, good night. We made it. We're doing okay. All right, Fluffy. <laughs>